So domination, 3-0. Uh, the guy chooses down in the third, and you just decide to grind him out, right? Yeah. You just do what you want? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, he's pretty tough to score on. I know I wrestled him like three, four times, so he knows what I'm going to do. I know what he's going to do because it's, it's just tough. The takedown was so slick. Yeah. You felt him. You ran around. Were you waiting for that? Yeah. Yeah, you know, he does a lot of misdirection stuff really well. And, you know, he took me down at Fargo with a misdirection, and uh, I knew it was coming. So I said, no, I had to stay low and do what I do with my head and hands, and I was ready for it. So you lost at the Ironman in a controversial call in the quarterfinals. The DeLuca, you come back and avenge the loss. Similar type match where it's a third period between you and DeLuca, and you need a takedown in the last 30, 40 seconds. You get it. Yeah. And then you stave him off, and you win 3-2. Yeah. Um, what did you learn from the loss in the quarterfinals? You know, I had a really tight, tight takedown in the quarterfinals, and I missed it. I bit rolled him, and he, like, lat dropped me, and like went off and squared up so uh other than i gotta get that takedown even though you know the call was not the greatest but i should have had that takedown so it is what it is but i got it in the second match and uh yeah that was the decider have you been taken down in high school yet no that's incredible yeah <laughs> you've lost but you haven't been taken down mm -hmm. yeah. what's it like knowing that that's how tight your matches can be that you've never been taken down in high school but you've got a loss, you know? Like, think about that. Have you, you know, ever thought about that? Yeah, it's it's crazy. I almost got taken down today. Uh, I got, guy shot a high crotch and I pancaked him and I didn't realize he was gonna rip a headlock and I almost got headlocked. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's crazy to think about how I haven't even given up a takedown yet, but. But the matches are that close though. Yes. Like they're that close to where mm -hmm. you can win matches with no takedowns. With no takedowns. Like you could have yes. won that match without that takedown. Yeah. You would have won one nothing tonight. Yeah. Think about that. That's crazy. That's real crazy. Yeah. Uh, does Coach Burnett talk to you and the staff talk to you about extending leads and blowing people's doors off? Absolutely. You know, I try and do it in practice. But wrestling Joey, you know, you get close to five takedowns, but you can't get one of them. But, you know, they always preach to me, keep going forward. Uh, I've had some problems in the past. I backed up quite a bit, but uh, I think I've changed it a little bit. Uh, going forward, stay more in center and keep pushing for points for sure. You need a bunch of bonus point wins. You got a, la a bunch last year at the state tournament. You know, you really opened things up. Um, you guys don't win, though. Ultimately, it comes down to your last couple sets of finalists. You have six finalists on the team this year from last year. What do you guys got to do to win this year? Like you said, bonus points. Uh, you know, we're getting a couple guys out, but they're they're newer. And uh, But we got we got to get bonus points. You know, we did pretty well in this tournament. We done, uh, got quite a bit of bonus points uh, as our team has progressed we've been winning tough matches and it really shows that we're pushing for bonus you're the ow at fargo you're the best guy in the country and a lot of people's pound mm -hmm. for pound rankings you know it depends where they look you have a tough super 32 yeah, right were well, you eighth at super 32 yeah I had a you defaulted before, the eighth yeah. um but you know you're one of the best guys in the country pound for pound mm -hmm. do you start looking at colleges as a sophomore um, you know, I've been to a couple places for like RTC practices, you know, I obviously I've been to Purdue for RTC and then I've been to Ohio State for RTC, but, uh, you know, both those colleges are phenomenal, phenomenal colleges, but no, I'm, mine are, are totally open right now. You're totally, and you guys are under an hour from Michigan. Yeah. And Michigan State's an hour and 40 minutes probably. Mm -hmm. So you're, those are all, that's all right there. Yeah. You are in Big Ten country. Yes. It's like everybody could just Absolutely. meet at your house yeah. if they wanted to like recruit yeah. people, right? Like two hours from Ohio State and like. Now and a half four or five yeah. hours, six hours from Penn State. Yeah, and then Purdue is three and a half. Wow. So you guys are right there. Yeah. All right. You got anything else for me? Nope. All right, Marcus. Congrats on the title. I didn't call you Joey. That was good. Yeah. And congrats sure. on the title. Thank you.